Yep, that's right. I turned GTA 4 into GTA 5 with mods. And no, it's not with just one single mod. It's multiple mods made by multiple developers ranging between the visual enhancements, the aesthetics, the gameplay, and the customizable features. Many people including myself would have to agree that being able to merely transition GTA 4's image into that of GTA 5's is absolutely incredible. And you'll see what I mean by the end of this video, especially since a lot of these mods completely twist the aura of GTA 4's darkness into the bright and vibrant GTA 5 that we all know and love. So in this video, I'll be showcasing all of the mods that I've installed to make this happen. To be specific, I've installed and tested 25 to 30 mods in my GTA 4 copy. The timestamps for the mods are marked below, as well as their respective mod links and credits, and if you do enjoy the video, remember to like and subscribe. Let's get this started. Kicking it off with one of the most significant mods that drives the aura of GTA 5 into GTA 4 is the release and continued work in progress of a visual overhaul mod called Los Santos Weather by T. Roo. As you can see, this mod turns GTA 4's visuals into that of GTA 5's with an EMB and time cycle based effects. And this is done very accurately. The sky lighting, the god rays, the clouds, the overall lighting in the game, the moon, the ambiance, everything imaginable. The vegetation for this graphics mod comes from the paid access to this mod, which is a one-time $2 payment. But if you want a mod that converts the vegetation to that of GTA 5's for free, then you can download 5 trees by Summer VIP. Allow me to take a break from the commentary here for a couple of minutes and show you a few time lapses of the visuals mod. Here we go. Another mod that aesthetically drives the aura of GTA 5 into GTA 4 is the GTA 5 Radar for GTA 4 mod by Zalika1351. This mod is packaged with three different types of radar styles from GTA 5. The first one is from the old gen consoles, such as the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. This radar style has the black border around the entire radar and the player's health bar. The second one is from the new gen consoles, such as the Xbox One, the PS4, the Xbox Series X or S, and the PS5. It's also from the PC version of GTA 5 as well. This radar style is slightly different from the old gen consoles where there is no black border around the entire radar. The third one happens to be my personal favorite, which is the beta radar style before Rockstar modified it to become the like the ones on the old gen consoles. Overall, this is a mod worth getting to make GTA 4 look closer to GTA 5. Mod number three, GTA 4 Waypoint Distance 5 style by It's Clonk Andre. This is a mod that shakes hands with the GTA 5 radar mod. What this mod does is that it essentially converts the behavior of the waypoint's path and navigation from that of GTA 4's to that of GTA 5's. The mod also displays the distance of travel that it takes to arrive at your destination at the bottom left of the screen, exactly like how GTA 5 has it. Mod number 4, GTA 5 Blips in GTA 4 by Zero Sisk. This is another mod that also shakes hands with the GTA 5 radar mod. This mod converts some of the blips from GTA 4 to the ones from GTA 5. Some of the blips that were replaced with this mod are the ones that mark your safe house, the painted spray, the weapon shop, any known garages like Stevie's, aka the one who you deliver cars to in the GTA 4 side quests, and so much more. Mod number 5, GTA 5 Weapon HUD by Michael Wojtanis. Talking about mods that convert the elements of the HUD from GTA 4 into GTA 5, this one would be good to bring up this early in the video. This mod essentially brings the famous weapon wheel from GTA 5 into GTA 4, which is absolutely remarkable. When using the wheel to swap between the weapons, the mod activates a sort of pause or slowdown in time, like how GTA 5 single player mode has it. The only downside to this is that you cannot have two weapons of the same class on the player, such as having an M4 and AK at the same time, and be able to swap between the two. It is worth noting that the version of the mod that I have installed is the one that was modified by Stonem09, which basically converts the style of the weapon wheel from the old gen consoles to the new gen systems. Mod number 6, GTA 5 Radio Wheel HUD by Zalika1351. This is another HUD mod that allows you to switch radio stations by the use of a wheel, exactly like how GTA 5 has it. A cool feature with this is that the radio station's logo and name, as well as the currently playing song's name and artist, appear right at the center of the screen when selecting or viewing a radio station with this mod. Again, exactly like how GTA 5 has it. Mod number 7, Colored Radio HUD by Ace Eliminator. This is a mod that shakes hands with the Radio Wheel mod by basically making the radio station logos have color, instead of being the black and white like how GTA 4 has them originally. 
Mod number 8, GTA 5 menu and game font by the Temple of Light and my very good friend, Danuka8000. This is a mod that adds the fonts from GTA 5 into GTA 4, which makes the subtitles. Rico, you wanna go on a date? Uh... Come on, what's wrong with you? Okay, who is she? That's the thing, it's a guy. Fuck you. The street names, the car names, and the instruction pop-ups on the top left appear like the way they do in GTA 5. Mod number 9, GTA 5 style mission pass screen by Social Officer. As you might have guessed, this mod essentially splashes the mission pass text from GTA 5 on your screen. Only if, of course, by completing a mission, side quest, or stunt jump in GTA 4. The sounds for this are separate, so the links for the mod and the sounds are in the description below. Mod number 10, Dot Crosshair with HP Mod by Wellington Snandy. I don't believe this mod was exactly intended to style GTA 5's crosshairs, but it looks pretty close to it. This creates a thick dot as the crosshair, and yet it maintains the feature of showing the health of the target that you're aiming at. Mod number 11, GTA 5 style kill marker by Let's Play or Die. Upon killing a player or NPC with the gun in GTA 5, the crosshair will briefly display a red X marker and the screen will flash around the edges for a slight second. This mod does exactly that for GTA 4. Mod number 12, GTA 5 Ambiance by It's Clonk Andre. This mod adds the ambient sounds from GTA 5 into GTA 4 along with some cool extras. When roaming around the city, you'll hear sounds like the engine of a sports car or crotch rocket speeding through the city streets. Or you might hear the sounds of the speedboats and the skidoos riding the tide in the distance. Here's a sample of that. Bro, the guy you want to date with is using French Tom as his screen name. You heard animal, man. Eat him alive, okay? At times, you'll even hear the sounds of various gunshots, giving the vibe of the dangerous city that you live in. Mod number 13, GTA 5 style flying music by It's Clonk Andre. As you might have guessed, this mod plays that nice tune from GTA 5 when flying in the air with the helicopter or other aircraft. Here's a sample of that. Mod number 14, GTA 5 style wanted music by It's Clonk Andre. Man, I tell you, this guy's on fire. Similar to the flying music mod, this plays a tune in the background when having a wanted level, and it stops playing after the wanted level goes away. The only condition to this mod is that you have to download the music from YouTube and insert it into the mod folder as an MP3 or WAV file. Mod number 15, GTA 5 Like Screaming by It's Clonk Andre. Yeah, that sounds kinda weird, right? Let me explain. When falling from a large height in GTA 4, Nico doesn't consistently keep screaming. He screams only once and then lets his doom or arrival towards the sea approach in silence. With this mod though, we can replicate something close to GTA 5. So now, Nico will consistently keep screaming until he either approaches his doom or drops in the sea. Mod number 16, Customizable Nico Mod by Dognuts. This isn't exactly a GTA 5 style type of mod, but as I've mentioned, the goal in mind is to try and get the image of GTA 4 to be as very close as it can be to that of GTA 5's. And the one mod that gets it even closer is this one. Essentially, this incorporates additional clothing, accessories, and extra appearance options for Nico. This is the one feature I feel GTA 5 is renowned for that being the improved customization for the characters in the game. But now we don't have to feel jealous that GTA 4 doesn't have it, because now it does, with this mod. Mod number 17, Better Wardrobes by Zalika1351. 
This mod shakes very good hands with the customizable Nico mod. The creator of the customizable Nico mod recommends having Celica 1351's trainer, namely Z Menu, in order to change your clothing options. But I'd like to imagine that for those who would like to play the game without a trainer, say for the experience, can do so and still be able to change the clothing, accessories, and extra appearance options with this very mod, which makes it similar to GTA 5's way of having a good wardrobe menu along with the barber shops and stores around town. The only thing about this mod is that it would bypass ever having to buy clothing. But let's be very honest with each other here. Money is such a meaningless digit in GTA 4 and is only good for weapons. So who really cares if you can't spend $1 or $1,000 on clothing, right? So with that being said, I think this mod is worth it. Mod number 18, GTA 4 Dialogue System Mod by Uzumaki Pain. As you might recall in GTA 5 single player, the player is allowed to interact with the NPCs by pressing a button, for which on a controller, that would be the right D-pad button. The player, whether it is Michael, Franklin, or Trevor, will interact with the NPC and go as far as having a brief conversation with them. That's what this mod for GTA 4 does. It allows the player to greet those around the city, but can also antagonize them, which, like GTA 5, has karma in whatever direction you take with it. Here's what greeting the NPCs with the mod looks like. Man, I kind of love darts. Why, hello. This is fun. I cannot wait to tell the girls at church that. Here's what antagonizing the NPCs with the mod looks like. Are you inbred or just stupid? Get the fuck out of my face. Your mother was right. You're pathetic. My nuts in your mouth. Keep taking the medication. Get the fuck out of my face. You're embarrassing yourself. You're about to meet my fist. Mod number 19. HQ Interiors for All Vehicles by Kona Rider 26 Another good feature from GTA 5 is the high quality interiors for vehicles, especially when seeing them in the first person mode. GTA 4 over the years has had a modding community who always glamorized the first person mod, whether that's from a standalone script or one provided from a trainer such as Z Menu by Zalika 1351. The only downside to it was the fact that the interiors in the vanilla GTA 4 vehicles are completely low res, meaning low quality. But this mod, HQ Interiors for All Vehicles, Fix that completely, driving the renowned feature of the first person driving from GTA 5 to now be a possibility in GTA 4 with higher quality vehicle interiors. Mod number 20, Liberty City Customs by XX Pro XX Gamer. While on the discussion of vehicles, this mod seemed to be quite fitting. As you might have guessed, this mod allows you to modify your cars at a custom mechanic shop. This is the arbitrated replica of the feature in GTA 5 when visiting a mechanic shop such as Los Santos Customs or Benny's Original Motor Works. You can change the paint on the car and toggle any of the extras of the car such as having the roof or no roof of a convertible like the Feltzer in game. I've actually done a video with this mod before, so if you want to check it out by clicking the video on the top right corner of the screen you can check it out and see what I did with other vehicles. Mod number 21, Selfie Mod by Julio Nibi. <laughs> okay, well this one's actually kind of funny, but this is an element from GTA 5. And if we're turning GTA 4 into GTA 5, this is the one mod that sure as hell adds an extra step to our goal. And with this mod, you can take zoomed in front camera shots, or take selfies with different angular positions and facial expressions. And it does actually save the snapshots to a folder in your GTA 4 directory in the scripts folder, which in my opinion is pretty cool. Mod number 22, GTA 5 Merriweather and Lester Special Services by Julio Nibi and Skyline GTR Freak. This mod isn't exactly from GTA 5 single player mode, but rather from GTA Online. This adds the feature of being able to call Lester and request for certain services, like the removal of the wanted level shown here on display. Hey, what's up? Okay, okay, I'll get you out of trouble. No problem. As you might have heard, this mod even includes their sound files and dialogues. It also adds the feature of being able to call Merriweather services and request for a service, such as the airstrike or request of an ammo box, shown here on display. Hello, you're through to Merriweather Security Consulting. What can I do for you? We have someone on the way to your location now. Please throw a flare so they have a clear target. Mod number 23, Parachute 4 by Julio Nibi. 
This mod adds a feature from GTA 5 as well as a battle gate Tony which allows you to use a parachute in GTA 4's base game. This mod adds several parachute base jump locations and also has a way of equipping it on demand should you be in a situation where height is a problem. Mod number 24, GTA 4 5 style tank mod by Julio Nibi. GTA 4 does have a tank, but only in the Ballad of Gay Tony, which is the APC that has a cannon on top. But like I told you, we're transitioning this game from GTA 4 to GTA 5, and a feature that was infamous from the game's release was being able to roam around in a tank. It's not as famous today as it was back then, for those who remember, but still, it's an amazing feature that is now ported to GTA 4, and it does exactly what it does in GTA 5, what you would have imagined it for it to do. And similar to the tank mod, we now have mod number 25, GTA 4 5 style fighter jet mod by Julio Nibi and Skyline GTR Freak. It replicates a mirror image of the flight mechanics from GTA 5 and also contains multiple features that the jets can do in GTA 5, such as shooting both rockets and the miniguns. The flight controls for the mod are fairly simple as well. The rockets even have a mechanic of having a lock gun just like how they do in GTA 5 as well. Now reach the part of the video where I'll be showcasing bonus mods. Why the word bonus? Here's the thing, and this might sound complicated. About a week ago, I made a video called adding EFLC content to GTA 4 with mods, which basically adds and incorporates a lot of elements from the Lost and Damned and the Battle Gay Tony DLCs into GTA 4's base game, such as the weapons, interiors, character fixes, and much more. If you're interested on how I did that, then check out the video by clicking the card in the top right of the screen. Anyways, back to the point. When I was installing these mods to GTA 4, I installed them onto a copy that has these mods from that video. Because I thought, why not? I like the addition of the weapons, cars, and all that from the Lost and Damned and the Battle Gay Tony, and it made it feel closer to making GTA 4 feel like GTA 5. The only problem with that is that some of those mods will conflict with some of these bonus mods that I'm about to showcase. And while some of these bonus mods may not have that problem, some of them will conflict with a couple of other GTA 5 style mods mentioned earlier in the video. So here we go. Bonus mod number one, GTA 4 5 style loading screen by It's Clonk Andre. This mod alters the loading screen of GTA 4 and makes it a mirror replica for that of GTA 5's, while still maintaining the elements of GTA 4, such as the images, the character art, and the music. However, this mod does not work and will make the game crash if you install an EMB or the DXVK mod. Therefore, this mod has a major conflict with mod number 1 from this video, that being the Los Santos Weather mod by T. Ru. In other words, you can either only have one or the other. Bonus mod number 2. GTA 4 5 style car names by MCAN. This mod alters the way how the vehicle names appear on the HUD. In GTA 4, the vehicle names appear on the HUD with just their model name, such as the Comet, or the Banshee, or the Sultan. With this mod, we get a display of the vehicle names with their make, model, and the type of car it is, exactly the way how GTA 5 does it. I shouldn't really say car, it's rather more so vehicle, because this also includes boats, trucks, and even helicopters. However, this mod does conflict with the EFLC content mods that I have installed, as mentioned earlier in the video. The reason being is because this mod only works for GTA 4's base game, but I have extra car mods from the Battle Gate Tony and the Lost and Damned, which will make it conflict. Bonus mod number 3, GTA 4 Jerry Can Script by Julio Nibi et al. This mod adds a weapon-based feature from GTA 5 into GTA 4, which is the Jerry Can. It allows you to set a trail of gasoline and let it on fire with either the lighter or a gunshot, which, as you know, Sets the entire path of gasoline on fire. Bonus mod number 4, GTA 4 Sticky Bomb C4 Script by Julio Nibi et al. This mod adds another weapon based feature from GTA 5 into GTA 4, which is the Sticky Bomb, which can be detonated at any point in time by remote control. However, I did not install this mod considering that I already get the sticky bombs from the Battle of Gay Tony's DLC content from the episodes from Liberty City content mods that I already have. But if you did want to see this bonus mod in action, click on the video in the top right corner of the screen which will take you to a video where I've actually used it before. Bonus mod number 5, GTA 5 Center Camera Mod by Julio Nibi. 
This mod alters the way how the camera works in GTA 4 and turns it to that of GTA 5's when in a vehicle, which is actually kind of cool. But the reason why I consider it a bonus mod is because for me, I had stuttering issues with it. Perhaps you might not, but who knows? Let me know if you have similar issues or if you found a fix to it, and let me know down below in the comments. Bonus mod number 6, GTA 5 style buzzard by Julio Nibi. GTA 4 does have a buzzard, but only in the Ballad of Gay Tony. But like I told you many of times already, we're transitioning this game from GTA 4 to GTA 5, and a feature similar to the tank that was famous from the game's release was being able to fly around in a buzzard. This mod does exactly that, but for GTA 4. Unfortunately, I already have the Ballad of Gay Tony's buzzard installed in my main copy, so this would not work or serve as good, sadly. But this is a mod that's definitely worth getting. In addition to all of this, you can install a few other mods that would make the game feel closer to GTA 5 as well. And it's all from this video of mine, Top 5 GTA 4 Mods That Surprisingly Make the Game Better. The video features 5 mods that includes birds in the game, installs thunderbolts and lightning strikes when it's thunderstorming, includes upgraded and high quality Liberty City road textures, being able to dive underwater and swim, and also have weapons to be more touched up than what they are right now in GTA 4 originally. You can get those type of mods from this video, which is linked on the top right of the screen. So there you have it, I turned GTA 4 into GTA 5 with mods. The only particular elements that I didn't quite clearly discuss was changing the cars to GTA 5's cars and changing the weapons to GTA 5's weapons. My vision of this was to keep some elements from GTA 4 to get the 2008 feel still feel intact. And as I've mentioned, this is absolutely incredible. With that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy GTA 4 modding, then you'll probably be interested in some of the other videos that I've done that are up on the screen. One of the videos showcases the new upcoming graphics mod called Ice Enhancer 4. The other one shows top 10 mods to make GTA 4 more realistic. The other video shows you on how to downgrade GTA 4 from the current complete edition to a more moddable patch. If you enjoyed the video, then remember to like and subscribe and comment what you found cool about the video. And otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Peace out guys.